Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Welcome to the Least Watch Show on the TFYLP Network. I am Rick Alvarez. It is the year 2020. This is Cut the Tape. All right. See, I got, I got all these gloves here because I, you know, dust and I like to... Certain things I, I put gloves on to handle. Anyway, enough about gloves. So, uh, it just so happens that I was out in the universe shopping for things, and uh, I came across uh, a bunch of Cyberverse stuff that I didn't have. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, Cyberverse, I'm not really, you know, not really, not really my jam, but I thought, you know what, it's all new, I gotta, you know, I gotta get it. I gotta, I gotta get it. So I got it, and uh, I thought I'd, I'd share... A few. Th I've had a lot of Cyberverse stuff just building up, waiting for me to. I mean, there are literally like almost the entire line is waiting for me to open. So I just thought, hey, you know what? Let me just open some uh, some Optimi. And and see, you know, compare and contrast. I got the trans. Oh, let's start here, at the beginning. This is Cyberverse Optimus Prime with trailer. Uh, this is the same deluxe Cyberverse figure, the the same crappy one. This is the trailer, which uh, I hear works really good with the Siege figure. Uh, I really, I don't know. I, I think I saw some pictures. It might have been the Siege figure. Uh, so we'll start with this. This is Transformer Cyberverse Optimus Prime. Then, you know, we have Transformer Cyberverse Power of the Spark. Now this Optimus, this is a new Optimus. And this Optimus combines with... Uh, that looks like, um, Fans Projects, uh, the Triple Changer. No, right? It kind of does look like that, you know? The broadside one. But this is actually Sky Turbine, and he combines... I don't know if Sky Turbine is a character, or just, like, it's Sky Turbine armor. I, I don't know. But it, Optimus combines with Sky Turbine to become Optimus. It's, it's just a powered-up Optimus. So it looks like there's a bit more articulation in this. So we'll, we'll play around with this. And then I got just now, a little while ago, I got... Now this is a Transformers Bumblebee Cyberverse Adventure. So, the, you know, the rebranding continues. And this is Optimus Prime. This is a Build-A-Figure for McAdam. There's McAdam right there. And you're going you're gonna to build him. You're going to get eight characters. And you're going to build him. You're going to get... Optimus, Megatron, Shockwave, Bumblebee, Hot Rod, Grimlock, RC, and Thunder Prowl. Oh, Thunder Howl. Thunder Howl. I'm sorry. I don't know if that's supposed to be like Thunder Hoof and Prowl combined into one guy. I don't. I, I really don't watch the show. I'm trying to get into it with my girls. My eight year old really likes it. She likes Cyberverse. She loves Wingblade. Wingblade. I, I don't know. And then there's some other stuff here. We'll see if we get to it. Um, so let's start at the beginning. Let's start with this Optimus trailer. We're going to just compare and compare all, all the packaging. So, as we said, this is Cyberverse proper. This was the initial launch. This is a figure that came carded individually. I got my knife. Look, co color coordinated. Uh, now, I always buy two of each, one to open, one to keep sealed. So I've already compared which is a nicer box. I've already checked them over for any variations. I never get the same lot. Like I always like, all right, bought one, wait a few weeks, buy another one to compare to see if there's any changes in, in the packaging or, uh, you know, any of the way the figure's packaged, any of the wraps, any of the markings, trademarks, whatever. So, uh, and... I'm not really going to keep this box since I already have one sealed. I'm just going to do that. 
has instructions. Uh, the instructions, they, they seem to get simpler over time because back when I was a little girl in the 80s, it would just be like change, start, change, change, finish. Now it's just like, I don't know if it's supposed to be English or Spanish. One, two, three. It, it could be uno, dos, tres. I don't, I'm not sure. And then it says reverse steps to... No bio on the box. Right? Is there a bio? Store Cyberverse Warrior class figures. It just says heroic Autobot. That's it. No bio. No nothing. I just... Who's Optimus Prime? I don't know. What, what does the trailer do? I don't know. Where'd the trailer come from? I don't know. Where'd the trailer go? Uh-huh. So this is interesting. This is the first, because this bubble is actually glued to this backer. So typically what you see is a bubble on top of a bubble in this situation. You take the bubble off, the figure's laying inside. Sometimes it'll be strapped down, sometimes it won't. Or you'll see a bubble that's taped down and you just go in, cut the, cut the holes and it'll come out. So this, see this is really interesting. It is not, oh it is. All right, so there's actually a tie in here, but you can't see it from looking at the figure. So it's all the way in there. Now I got a pair of clippers for this, but because this thing is glued down, I'm just gonna use my knife. This is the same wonderful Optimus Prime figure as before, as far as I could tell. It is um, gloriously horrible. I mean, it is just, oh man, this is, ah. Uh, it's for a different age group. It's for a different age group. All right. It's for a di different age group. But it just seems like it's re it's really young. I mean, it just seems like it's really young. It says on here 6 plus. But this is like, I think this is like 4 or 5. Like an old 4. Well, not 5. So here we got him. Standing next to uh, Siege. Sideswipe. So to get the trailer out, we either have to rip this off or cut it. Now, just because it's an instructional video, sometimes if you want to keep this package nice, what you could do is take your knife and you want to not cut all the way around, but just cut around enough so you can slide it out. But then if you ever want to put it back in, it'll go back in and the bubble will hold it. So, okay, so we took it out, right? But here's the bubble. I know it's hard to see, but there's the bubble, right? If we wanted to like say resell this one day, we could easily slip this back in and we've cut the bubble in such a way that it will hold it. See, we've only cut the bubble just a little more than halfway. So it'll actually hold this figure. All right, so the trailer is a cool design, but it loses me here with these little plastic wheels. I mean, they, they're they so low, it doesn't even look like, I, I don't know. It's got a nice little kickstand here where you can actually put it down. And All right, so the door opens. All right. It's not a bad trailer. It's not a bad trailer. Is there a button that activates the... There's gotta be a button that activates the... It's not bad. I like, you know what, I, I like stuff like this. That's cool to me, I like that. 
I think this is a good trailer for this line. The trailer is more impressive than the figure. The figure stands on the trailer. The figure... I mean, you can't even, like, grab this gun if you wanted to. I mean, he's really not even articulated enough. You know, if I were to pull this gun off the trailer, he can't even hold it. It doesn't even plug into anything. I mean... Uh... Uh, just, you know, it's meant for a younger audience, but still, you know, that wouldn't necessarily change the cost if it just designed a little differently. The cost would be the same. It just, my opinion, that's all. So the trailer, I think, is a win. Figure is not. This, it just, uh. You know what? You know what seems to have better transformation than this figure? Do you remember here? These guys right here. Fast action battlers. And then this, I forgot. This, yeah, this turns, and it has like a little fake auto transformation sequence there auto morph remember that remember that kids auto morph no see that, uh, i i know it's uh uh yeah so uh the, you know, it works if it's if it's on a solid surface. You know, if it's a flat surface, it works. But if it's a bumpy surface, I guess that's how he loses the trailer. It was just, you never saw that in the films. All right. Let's move on to Transformers Cyberverse, Power of the Spark. I don't know if the power of the spark allows you to take other stuff and put it on you. I, I don't know. Again, there's no bio on here. Um, this is my first, this is the first, uh, spark armor I'm, I'm, I'm opening. So, I don't know if the armor is interchangeable with anyone else. Uh, I would guess not. So, again, instructions. Uh, so looking at the instructions, there's a few more steps and then you have the combined steps on the back. But still, no, no wording. And I, mean, I understand why there's no words in here. They try to limit the words because you do have to put it in English, Spanish, uh, you know, French, German, whatever language you're, you're packing. It used to be trilingual lingo. Now it's, I think, a four lingo. So this Optimus seems to be a little more articulated. How the hell does this work? Seems to be uh, better designed. It looks more like Optimus. It looks more than like Optimus. Unlike this, 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 God, this. The first figures in a line are always a little clunky because they're still trying to figure out the line. All right, so this is a little different than the Optimus. See this? Not attached. You got a nice piece of art here. You can cut that out, do something with it, roll it up, do other things, nefarious things. All right, so this Optimus, completely new figure, has a lot of, lot of uh, design detail on it. Even though there's not a whole lot of deco on it, Deco is another word for paint. I uh, usually use clippers, but, uh, you know, it's Cyberverse. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. All right. So, we got two Optimi. This one's a little bit smaller. I can understand why. You know, it's got to have another piece of plastic that it combines with. Seems a little more intricate to transform 
not bad. Not, oh. Um, uh, I mean, not, not great, but. Not bad. Oh, there's, there's a trick here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I mean, you know, not, not terrible. It's better than the, than the regular deluxe. Well, this one little arm doesn't want to go in. It is what it is. All right, look, it's got little feet that come out the back. So when it has the armor hooked onto it, it stands better. That. If it was done out of necessity, okay. But if it wasn't, that is looking out for the play pattern, which I appreciate. All right, let's take out, what the heck is this called? Sky Turbine. Not a whole lot of deco on this guy. Let's count the decos. This is one deco. That's one deco. This is two right here. Actually, this is a uh, one, two, three, four. Actually, uh, no. This is one, so they do the blue first, and then once that's dry, they paint the black on top of it. So if you were to scratch this black off, it would bleed uh, blue underneath. So that's two, four. We'll take a look at the face. So that's four paint apps right there. Four spray hits, deco hits, however you wanna do it, say it. Different designers say different things. All right, so. got to be a button here a 40 year old man there's got to be a button here I'm a 40 year old man how, how am I not be able to figure this out plugs in easy enough I wonder if it turns no it's definitely spring oh it looks like it's spring-loaded. Doesn't appear to be spring-loaded. That part is. All right. So I guess part of it is spring-loaded. And I was confused. All right, so. We're here. We're gonna turn it. I'm sure, I'm sure kids would love this. Absolutely. I'm sure kids would love this. I mean, from an IP standpoint, I don't think it adds much. You know, if I was telling, like, a history of Transformers, I would have put this back in, like, the Dark Ages, like the Age of Wrath, and, and said, like, this is what, you know, inspired Ultra Magnus' armor, or something like that. So, that's, that's how I look at this. Oh, I'm going to guess you pull this down and turn it. No, nope, I was right. So this, this actually, you do have to manually put that down, and that's what activates the, the thing. All right. Thought it was a little more clever than that, but hey, it, it's uh, it's okay. Uh, so we said four deco hits. The mouth faceplate is five. The eyes are six. So there are six deco hits on this thing. I mean, the head seems way too big, but it does have to fit over the regular Optimus head. Uh, might have been proportionally a little better if this Optimus head slides down into the cavity of the chest so that this head could be a better size, but, you know, 
it is what it is. I'm sure kids will love it. It seems fun. Uh, this, that's interesting. So despite having these back feet, the knees are all wobbly, right? So he still falls backwards. <sighs> One thing you can do that's a quick solution if you ever have that issue, take some clear nail polish and you just apply it on there. Uh, with a pin joint, it may not work, but if you have like a ball and socket joint, it helps a lot. It's an old, old trick. So if I lean him forward a little bit, he'll stand. And now let's take what I heard is the best one, uh, is the Transformers Bumblebee rebranding Cyberverse Adventures. And this one comes with the left arm of McAdam. How crazy is that? We got a McAdam figure coming. It's crazy. That's awesome. I, I, I appreciate that. Even though it's for, you know, this is meant for a younger audience. I appreciate it. Appreciate the fact that we're getting McAdams. All right, so not attached as per normal, as you know, per usual. We got our build a figure piece. We have an individual blaster. That's cool. The blaster is very reminiscent of G1. Excellent. Hey, there's one of these cool. You know what? I wasn't on board with these at first, but uh, you know, oh look at that! Boom. So I can even do the hey. I've come to appreciate the blast effects. Uh, it looks like he just has one, one, uh, how I hold him down, got him out. All right, instantly, I can tell you, the plastic feels much better on this. It feels thicker. The articulation is much better. There is a ton of paint apps on this thing. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Excuse me, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, maybe 22. That's crazy. 22, 23, 24. 25, 26. Wow. So that is... The, so for 20 bucks, all right, it's a small deluxe for a 20 bucks. Yes, it comes with a blaster and a blast effect, which splits into two pieces, and it comes with a Build-A-Figure, which has you know, wrist articulation in it for the larger figure as a whole. Um, it's, you know, 20 bucks. Uh, I wish there was some way to connect this, like, if it just, like, fit. I don't know. So, let's see. He's got his blaster. Th this, this, if Cyberverse was all like this, oh, man, I'd... I'd I'd be a lot happier. I think I'd be more into the show if I had a Cyberverse line that was more like this. Like, I think uh, Lucas said it best on uh, another episode of uh, Ouch My oh. oh! It's that little detail that makes me, all right, it's 20 bucks. All right. Now, if that matrix could come out even cooler, but look at this now. You got the touch. You got the power. Yeah. You know, you get that touch. This is the first Optimus figure we've had that can do this. So this is a win. This is a win. I wish the Matrix could come out, but hey, I'm happy with what we got. This is a win. That's a win. You know what? I thought the head, the chest opened and the head would flip down, but instead there was a Matrix in there. Wow. And there's a decent amount of parts on here.
Well, yep. I gotta say, I gotta say it. This, this is the Cyberverse figure that'll sell me on this line. Yep. All right. Price point is a little bit high. I love the fact that the feet fold down. But, you know what? I'm happier paying 20 bucks for this than I am paying, I think, $12.99 or $13.99 for this. It's, it's small. Don't get me wrong. It's tiny. Right? Even in robot mode, it's tiny. But that's done on purpose because of all the extra stuff it has to come on. It's got a lot of parts on here. And what I mean by parts is a, is a part count. Which is, hey, we're going to design X amount of Transformers for this cost. It has to have this number of parts to it. Like 50 parts to it. So that contract is negotiated ahead of time uh, before design gets too far along. That's how features are cut out. Uh, or you say, all right, well, if I'm going to put a little extra transformation to it, then I can't paint it as much as I want to. So, all right. I, uh, I, I give this, uh, I, this is the best, uh, Cyberverse figure there is. Let's stand them all next to each other. Comparatively speaking, I mean, it, I mean, the height isn't, the first deluxe stands a little bit taller, but it's night and day design wise between these figures. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of that uh, Aqua launch Bumblebee, whatever it was for Transformers Animated, that had like the scuba gear on it. I am really happy with this. I, Man, I'm happy with that. All right, yeah. God damn, I didn't think that was going to happen. I, I didn't expect this. Crap. Did not see this coming. I was blinded by the light of the matrix of leadership. Oh, I'm happy with this. Crap. The, God damn it. Crap. You know, if they took this figure and made it at like a $30 price point, and they like could hide some more stuff here in the legs, you know, maybe change up the hollowness in the back a little bit more. This would be a great uh, Earth Wars Optimus. All right, you, it, yeah. God damn, you won. All right, uh, this is Cut the Tape. We didn't get to the other stuff. Screw it, I'll just start out. Um, Thank you very much for watching. Leave me some positive comments for once. And, um, hey, maybe next time we'll open some troop builders. I don't know. I got a mountain of sea cons over there. Be nice to each other.